beginning of a new week. And uh, I'm going to start today with a song and then we'll talk. So let's just let's just do it. A big surprise here. And it screwed on my way. did not know Phil, you know, Brand X, Genesis and all that. They came on board for Brother Bear and Tarzan. And uh, and that's where uh, younger crowds, because when we would play these songs live in concert, you'd see the young kids out there all going, oh yeah, yeah, they were, they were completely into it. And, um, and it was interesting. I mean, you know, he would, Phil was courted by Disney um, quite a bit about doing music for, for their musicals and uh, for their animated films and uh and the first one was brother bear and it was it was really great i mean he did a great job on it and um 
and I think there was there was good success with it, just as it was with Tarzan uh, for him. But when we did that, that was from a live performance that we did. I believe that was one we did at um, Sirius XM Radio's um, uh, studios. Uh, we were back east and went there. I forget where they are, Washington or some. I forget what city it was. It was a long time ago. Um, but uh, we went and they had a beautiful room there for um, for doing small concerts. Phil was just playing um, tambourine and some congas on it. Uh, Richie Garcia was playing percussion and Ronnie Carroll and Daryl Sturmer were playing um, acoustic guitar on it. And I think Arnold McCuller, uh, uh, Amy Keys and Lamont Van Hook, I think were sang background on that one. And uh, I don't know who the old bass player was. It was somebody I think that was sweeping the halls and, and they, he said, oh, I can play bass. So they, they brought him in too. But it was fun. You know, it was a small crowd there, probably about 50 people in this room. And we got to play live and then Phil did interviews and they talked to everybody. And it was pretty cool and got to tour their studios. Um, man, it was like the main control room there was what looks like makes the Starship Enterprise look like the minnow in Gilligan's Island. I mean, it was like so completely space age and uh, pretty remarkable. But we went around and there was a bunch of people doing their shows and kind of snuck into their studios and talked to them. And it was, it was really cool. It was a really fun day. But um, but it was always fun doing those those songs with um, with Phil. Um, I don't know what else is going on today. Let me think. I'm trying to sort out a few things here. I did one of my least favorite things to do today. Um, uh, I have a huge uh, podocarpus tree. Uh, right in front of my house, up against the house. And it's one of those trees that is so beautiful, but man, it is a dirty tree. It's got little bitty, like sword, little leaf things on it that when they go, they drop. And I have a, a section up on my roof that's really high and they built up to about two feet deep up there. So I had to pull the ladder, really big ladder out and lean it up on the roof today and then pulled my truck up to the ladder so that it wouldn't slip because I was having to do it at an angle and then I climbed up the ladder and climbed to the very top of the ladder and then I have a an extension pole that I that I hook a uh, an L bracket on the end of it so I could drag stuff down so I got almost all of it off the roof but it's one of those things that I'm up there going what the hell do I am I doing and I think about my old neighbor across the street Phil um, who was about 90 and I'd see him on his roof cleaning leaves and I'd scream at him quietly because I didn't want to freak him out and have him fall off the roof. But I'd go, Phil, I'll do this for you. Don't get, get off your roof. And yeah, he was a tenacious old boy. I mean, he, he just would just do what he wanted. He was a bull in a china shop. Um, but he got it, everything done that he had to do. So I got that over with. I don't have to think about that again till next year. So that was good, and um, I'm just going to take care of some nonsense around the house here, and I'm looking at a couple other tunes for tomorrow. There are a couple of things I really like to explore and see if I can find them, because um, I have good memories of them, but I'm just not. See, the problem I have, beyond the obvious, um, is when I finish a project, I almost never hear it uh, completed. Uh, when when I finish, I leave the studio, and sometimes it's it's months before that album's released, and I've completely lost track of, of the project at that point, and um, so I'm not really sure. You know, sometimes I'll hear a song, uh, like in the supermarket, and uh, and I'll go, oh man, that's that's pretty cool. And then I'll realize it's something I played on, but I never heard it finished. I never heard it with strings or horns or vocals or anything, and. Uh, so for a lot of these songs, I'm trying to find them, but I have no idea what the album was called. I'm kind of digging through the discography of the artists I'm thinking of and see if I can find one and then look on all music or discog or one of those to see if they've credited people on the album so I can tell if I played on it or not. Uh, one of the things that's funny to me is I was contacted by the, um, these people that are doing um, an article about Rod Stewart and the song that they want to feature is Sailing from Atlantic Crossing. Now I played on Atlantic Crossing but there was a couple of bass players on Atlantic Crossing 
and they haven't credited tracks, but they said to me, oh no, you're, you're on sailing and that's why we want to interview you. And I listened to it and I'll, I can't tell if it's me or not. Sometimes, you know, you're just, I mean, it can be me, but you know, I think Bob Glob is also playing on it and Bob and I can sound pretty similar at times. I don't really know. It gets pretty confusing when I'm really trying to dig in deep on things here. This one I just thought about this morning. I, something came up and I saw something about uh, something about Brother Bear somewhere. And I thought, oh, I'll look that up and see um, if there's something there I could use. And boom, uh, on my way popped right up. And I thought, oh, I'll just do that. But I've just been sitting here trying to shed it really quick just to see how it, see how it goes. Because um, like I said before, these things are really deep down in my my memory uh, banks and uh, trying to trying to lure them out uh, can be a challenge. But uh, so I'm just going to just wish you all a good day. Um, I'm getting closer to my uh, my live stream. I'm really excited about that. Some people have been writing in and saying they're really looking forward to it. So we'll we'll have fun. I hope you have good questions. I'm going to like I said, I'm going to slow the chat window down so I can actually see the questions and answer them and try to get to as many as I possibly can. But that's going to be this Wednesday, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Coast time. And um, and that's for um, the clubhouse. And uh, and I'm going to there's some stuff already up. There are some T-shirts, I guess, that they've already put up in the uh, little swag store. And I'm going to get to work on, on the drawings and look at a bunch of options and sending off pictures and, and uh, different ideas. I've got one idea that I think could be really great. So I'm, I'm going to work on that today uh, for a shirt and an image. But uh, be safe. Uh, I've been talking to a whole bunch of people and man, there's a, some really awful stuff going on. So please, man, just do everything you can to keep yourself safe and to do everything you can not to be where you could be spreading or getting this disease that's going on. But I know here in California, that's the highest numbers since the whole thing began. I mean, it's really soaring because, and now they're saying they opened everything too soon. You know, as soon as they opened the door, a crack, a stampede went through the crack and people were all gathering in bars and, you know, coughing and spitting in each other's faces, you know, the way they normally do. But this time it's with ramifications, just one one person in that bar could could take everybody down. Um, so really just be, be safe, be safe. I care about you, I care about me, I care about everybody. And the only way we're gonna stop this is if we really get serious about protecting each other from this. There's no embarrassment in putting on a piece of cloth when you're in a compromising situation. When you're home, take it off. Nobody's gonna say anything, but when you're going to public, Please, please, just be considerate of everybody around you, and hopefully they'll be considerate of you, too. So that's that for today, and I'm going to go look at these other songs for tomorrow, and we'll see where we are, and I'm going to review this and check whether or not my bass was too loud or if the track was too low, since I, st I don't know. I kind of went right into it and didn't give myself a, a moment to test it out. So, fingers are crossed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.